Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about Google Jamboard and Google Keep and using the two in collaboration for student feedback. So let's pretend real quick that this is a jam that two students of mine, Patrick and Charles, have been working on and they have compiled some sources for some War of 1812 research. And now I, as a teacher, come in and I'm going to collaborate with them and give them some feedback. Well, one, I can give them some quick feedback in Jamboard. I can do this just by pressing some buttons here. So if I click the little emoji, I click the check mark, that's going to give a check mark. Um, there are other emojis there. If something's completely wrong, I could use that X. I would not suggest recommending uh, using the poop icon, but okay. Let's say I like all five of these sources. So I grab that little guy there. I hit plus. Great. That one will now move there. I can copy that one. I'll move that one there, copy that guy, move it over here. Oh, I threw it away accidentally. That's not what I meant to do. So that one's okay. And that one is good as well. And I should really tighten those up. Okay. Now, to get this into keep, watch what I can do. The three dots right here. So if I click these, I can share this frame as an image. And this is what we'll put in a Google Keep note to Patrick and Charles to give them a little bit more feedback. On my Chromebook, I can put this into any Android app I've already um, uh, installed on there. So I've installed Keep as an Android app. So watch this, I'll share it with Keep. And now it's already in there and I will say, And from there, uh, let me give it some tags. And so I will give it the War of 1812 tag so I can search it by assignment. And then anytime I will give it the Patrick and, and Charlie tag. So anytime I look at Patrick's stuff, this note will come up. Same with Charlie, I click OK. And from there, I will now, I can type some feedback, but I'll hit save. And now, if I'm in Google Keep and I open that up, now look what I can add to it. So I can add a recording. Hey, Charlie and Patrick, nice job. Five great sources. Have you looked at the Miller Center for some sources of James Madison's speeches at the time? Now, notice a few things. One, it actually put the text in there, but now Charlie and Patrick can play that clip and hear my voice. And so rather than coming across as this, you know, this isn't going, you know, I, I, you're missing the Miller Center. It's just, hey, these are great. Have you looked at the Miller Center? Now, to make sure that Charlie and Patrick see this, what I would do is I would, let's add some collaborators and right there, that is where I would then type in Charlie and Patrick's email. They would get an email, then that directing them to this keep note where they'll see their research, they'll see my checks, and then they'll also hear my verbal feedback and they'll hear the tone of my voice so it won't come off so harsh if there's stuff that I want to suggest for improvements. And so that's my quick take as far as a Jamboard keep collaborate, you know, using those two together to give students feedback. I'm sure there's many more ways of doing it. That's just one. If you have any questions about this strategy, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.